get to the money. Welcome to another episode of Drinking After Dark, a podcast where we discuss random topics while having a few drinks. I'm your host, Darius, and as always, drink responsibly. And y'all make sure y'all follow Drinking After Dark podcast on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to Drinking After Dark podcast YouTube channel. Uh, Tonight, um, I'm drinking on uh, Royal Hard Orange Cream Soda, which is basically a crumb roll of vanilla mixed with... um, Orange soda. That's pretty much what it is. Um, I hope you guys have a had a great weekend, man. I hope you guys checked out the last episode. Um, it was a really great episode. If you haven't checked it out, please y'all go check out that last episode. Um, yeah, I'm up in my silk pajamas tonight. Uh, you know, for this particular episode, I'm just gonna be comfortable and all of that. So, uh, don't mind me. All right, y'all. So, um. Some things that I want to talk about uh, right now. Uh, We're going to get into it. Uh, Question is, are we heading to another lockdown? Okay. So, for those don't know, uh, it's in the news once again. Uh, COVID cases are rising again. And some places are implementing a mask mandate. Okay, so uh, we have so Morris Brown College, which is HBCU, um, has announced that they're going to implement a mask mandate. Um, who else? Uh, Lionsgate, you know, if y'all know Lionsgate, the Hollywood studio also uh, implemented uh, a mask mandate. Uh, who else is implementing the mask mandate? Well, let's put it this way. Some places are starting to uh, implement mask mandates because of the rise of COVID. Uh, it's been a big uh, discussion um, in the news and, of course, across social media. I'm going to give you all my, my opinion about all of this. Okay? So, so for me, I just feel like one thing about COVID is not going away. All right. I don't know what the mask is going to do in terms of, you know, with COVID and the rise of COVID and everything like that. Um, Do I believe we're heading to um, another lockdown? No. No, the first lockdown back in 2020, um, it was something that nobody knew what it was, you know, things like that. So they was trying to, uh, one thing you want, all right, you're not going to get rid of COVID. You can just try to contain it, right? Just try to contain it, you know, just by, you know, staying healthy, you know, if you're sick, you know, stay at home, you know, with any, any type of illness, you know, if you're sick to stay at home. Um and stuff like that. Now it's been it's been <laughs> kind of brought up that uh we're kind of heading into a new election year, 2024. And all of a sudden this thing is coming back up, right? Uh with the cases and all of that stuff. And you know, you got some places um implementing a mass mandate. I believe it's gonna be more that's gonna implement a mass mandate. Uh, and some, some are not, you know, we all know when it came to COVID, the year it hit, it was a political, uh, hot topic, right? Uh, P 
people that were at home, you know, you had one side that's trying to stay, you know, keep everything open because, you know, a lot of them are invested in these companies. So they want people to go to work so they could make them more money. And then you have others saying, hey, no, stay at home. Let's try to get this thing contained and then we'll open back up. You know, when it comes to health, I'm not understanding why we even having certain conversations when it comes to health, but it happens anyway. Now in 2023, you know, you got a lot of places that are implementing this uh, mandate and, and therefore it's, it's bringing, it's, you start seeing people, what they felt about it, you know, what they feel about this particular topic uh, they don't want to go through what they went through last time because let's just be honest, it humbled a lot. It, the COVID situation humbled a lot of people in the sense of, you know, a lot of stuff that we took for granted in our everyday lives. It was kind of taken away from us for a little while. And a lot of people didn't like that, you know, so. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things that people don't want to go through again and everything like that. However you feel about it. You know, nobody wants COVID, okay? I think that's a universal thing. Nobody wants COVID, but I think we all want to be safe. I think that's the that should be, like, unanimous. Nobody wants COVID. Everybody should be safe, okay? Um, now, again, we're not going to get rid of COVID, right? Is this, It's like... Uh, with the flu or anything else is out there, we have to live with it now. So I think that's just something that people are are kind of worried that's kind of heading in that direction because there was also talks about uh, a two week shutdown period, and we we remember what happened last time. They said it was only shut down for like a week or so or two weeks. That turned into months, you know. So. You know, people are afraid, you know, what's going to happen. And then all of a sudden, it's these theories like, oh, election time again, right? Which is kind of like, well, when COVID hit, it was 2020. The election year was 2020. When 2023, I don't think that's really going to have, to me personally, I don't think it's going to have an impact on uh, elections, in my opinion. I don't think it is because it's 2023. You know, when you're talking about uh, the elections in uh, 2024 in uh, November, I don't think it's going to have an impact on that uh, personally. But, you know, something that people will talk about, you know, trying to compare the two. I don't think it's anything to be compared about because first time. And here's the here's the here's the thing, too. They actually warned us the first time we didn't listen. That's world said now. Now, we kind of like we we could deal with it uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, with this uh, COVID thing, and you no, know, we we know how to we know how to deal with it. So we're more prepared now. But you know, some places now they're implementing you know mask mandates, which is kind of funny to me because I could also make the argument when it comes to I guess around the like winter time. Like that fall, winter time, we all know the flu goes around, especially, you know, school, work, and all that. We don't wear masks when there's a flu, right? When uh, when you see a lot of kids getting sick, um, you don't see, uh, especially with the uh, like flu-like symptoms. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, flu-like symptoms, uh, they're not really walking around with a mask. So, I don't know. I think it's everybody, I don't think everybody's going to go to a mask mandate. You know, stuff like that. Because one thing about it is, it's like you're not going to stop this. Right? You're not going to stop it. You know, you're not going to stop the flu. You're not going to stop COVID. That's just how it is. Me personally. But you got those people who are, you know, who take their health very seriously, as we all should. 
And I think that uh, by the end of the day, uh, we just all want to be safe. So um, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, like I said, um, they have – they're talking about these COVID cases rising again. It's like, come on now. You know, it's been three years. You know, we pretty much – uh, back to normal, you know, you got a lot of businesses out there that, um, you know, finally starting to, you know, get over 2020, you know, and stuff like that. You got a lot of people are starting to get back on their feet because of 2020. So I don't think we should, we should take it seriously, but I don't think it should be uh, something that we should be afraid of because we have dealt with it, we have to experience with it. And I I just think that we will we'll be fine. We'll definitely be fine. And, you know, hey, but again, like I said, that's, that's what they're putting out there, which is kind of funny that they're putting this stuff out there, not because of, um, you know, people want to bring up the election stuff, we, you know, what's going on in Hawaii, which, you know, for me in this podcast, our thoughts and prayers are to the, you know, to uh, Hawaii with the uh, wildfire, wildfires and everything like that. So our thoughts and prayers are with are with all of you. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of stuff that's going on. And COVID is the latest. And, of course, you have what's going on in uh Hawaii with the wildfires. And I, I now that right there, let me tell you something. The fact that you have people calling trying to buy up land, pennies on a dollar, I think that is disgusting. Right? This is their land. You know what I mean? This is their land. This is this is their livelihood. This is their culture. And yet you're trying to buy up land so you could build it and make more money. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what it is. Here's the thing about capitalism. Capitalism, I think we should separate it from capitalism and greed. Because a lot of, you you see a lot of people, you know, everybody's a capitalist in the sense of you will leave one job for another if it pays you more, more money. That's what it is, okay? But then you have those who are greed, like who are just greedy, right? They have hundreds of millions of dollars or even billions of dollars, and yet they still want more. So it's at a sense, it's not really about the money. It's about power and control for them. You know what I mean? And I think, to me, that's really scary. You know, it's like they, they can't stop. You know, they don't know when enough is enough. And it's kind of like with all that money, what you going to do with it anyway? You know what I mean? Like, I can only imagine when Christmas comes around, somebody trying to buy you something. You're like, I already got it. You know, it, it's kind of like, what, what are you going to do with all of that money? Now, don't get me wrong. You know, if I was able to make that type of money, oh, definitely. Right? But I think at some point, you know, I kind of, I kind of want to ask, you know, so if there's a anybody out there who's worth a hundred million dollars, a billion dollars, please come on my platform, please come on this podcast and have this conversation with me. So I really want to know, are you actually happy? Or you're still searching for something? That's the only thing I could think of when it comes to like trying to is it a competition to be number one? terms of wealth so basically it's like you're screwing the the little man just to you know be number one on some list right so i don't know i don't get it so who knows who knows and you know again thoughts and prayers with you know those out there in hawaii and y'all y'all listen to them Y'all got to listen to them, man, because they telling you what's going on and some of y'all don't want to listen. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. So uh, 
we're going to get into this next topic because I think this topic is funny to me. We got to we gotta talk about Kiki Palmer and uh, I guess her breakup uh, with uh, Darius Jackson. And um, basically, this all stems from a fallout. You know, what happened? He called her out on uh, social media for the dress that she was wearing. Um, I personally don't think it had anything to do with the dress. I think it had everything to do with um, the fact that she was grinding on Usher. And he felt some type of way about that. Um, that's something he probably could have addressed privately. Um, even if you had a problem with the dress, uh, address it privately. But, you know, a lot of people, they they like to air their uh, their feelings and their drop. This everything on social media, right? I'm, for those using social media, understand this. It's not really a place to tell all your business. Or to even try to call somebody out, especially if you know your um, your partner, right? Whether it's your wife, girlfriend, your boyfriend, fiance, you don't do that on social media. You keep your relationship private, right? And with this particular situation, um, they they pretty much they. People have claimed that they have split. Um, you know, you got people who are talking and things like that. But we know their relationship is not on good terms between the both of them. All right. Um, I'm just talking about just between those two. I'm not including the child. I think they're, um, as far as I know, I think they're doing a great job raising their child together. All right. I think, I don't know. If they start dragging the child into this, then they got problems. But, you know, you got a lot of people who are on one side or the other. You know, you got, and it's it's mainly, it boils down to gender you no, know, you got those who are gonna be on Kiki Palmer's side because she is a woman. I mean, come on now. And then you have the you have those on uh Darius' side, uh, because he's a guy, obviously. Here here's the thing I would say. By the end of the day, don't put your personal business on social media and always remember have respect for one another. All right. Listen, I get it. You know, you might be a fan of Usher. Yeah, you might be grinding on him and everything, but by the end of the day, you're not going home with Usher. You're going home to the dude you got a baby with. Okay? So you got a dude that you got you got a baby with. And in his mind, he's probably using the dress as a cover-up to the actual action um, that you were doing. It's just my opinion. Uh, the fact that you were grinding on another man, I don't care how famous you are. I think that's disrespectful. You know what I mean? So if you're with somebody and you're doing all of that, hey, you know, you got to ask yourself, am I, am I doing the right thing? By doing this, right? Like, it's one thing to dance with somebody else, but it's another thing to grind on somebody else. That's kind of like, uh, you know, as a little disrespectful. And then, <laughs> excuse me. And then, you know, you did, uh, you released a video, a music video with Usher, kind of like throwing shade at the whole situation at, at him and everything like that. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it. I, I'm always a firm believer that relationships should always be private. 
even even if y'all go through y'all problems, it should be just between y'all, nobody else's business and things like that. So that's just my feeling on all of this. Okay. So um, I hope for the best for them. I hope they could, you know, co-parent to the uh, best of their abilities and get along for the sake of their child, you know, because by the end of the day, the child could be affected by all of this and nobody really talks about that. So I hope, uh, I hope these two grown adults can uh, get it right, in my opinion. All right, y'all. So, um, remember, man, y'all make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe. Uh, be sure y'all uh, follow Drinking After Dark Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I think I'm going to hold off on that one because it, it's actually two other things I want to talk about, but I think I'm going to do a special episode on this. So y'all stay tuned for that and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on this. I'm going to hold off on those two topics for my next episode. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed y'all evening with me. Uh, thank you for all the support, man. Y'all continue to support me, man. Please tell your friends and family about the podcast. Um, and also, man, if you know anybody that would be a good fit to come on the plat- on the podcast, y'all let me know, man, and we'll make it happen, all right? Until next time, I'm your boy Darius from Drinking Out the Dark Podcast, and we out. Peace. Gotta get to the money, hey, gotta get hey, to the money Uh-huh, early morning so you know that I'm on it So you know that I'm on it Gotta make sure that my family's straight Gotta make sure that my kids are made Get to the money, get to the money, uh-huh.